now we'll move on to the topic two that is uh, trends of hrm when we talk about trends of hrm as we already discussed in the previous topics uh, human resource management is undergoing a big kind of a metamorphosis and uh, today with with the impact of the globalizations and uh, you know various kind of changes which has happened in the market ultimately even the human resource practices also changed over a period of time now let's try to look at what are the kind of a trend which is affecting the human resource management uh, mainly you know as we already discussed the global or probably the macro level thing is your globalization and because of the globalization completely the competition in the market is also changed and because of the competition every company is trying to you know retain the number one position in order to retain the number one position every employee has to you know give their best only then they can able to you know maintain that leader position number you know so that's the way actually if you look into it globalization and competition which changes the way employee things and even the human resource management department also second one is a technological trend a uh, lot of changes are happening in a technology front uh, if you look at any kind of an industry for that matter more and more advanced technology automated technology come into place and ultimately you know uh, the kind of an employees what we are dealing with is more skilled labor as well as an you know highly knowledgeable kind of a labor uh so with this kind of you know labors and uh, the techno savvy people and highly knowledgeable and skilled labors the way hr has to be worked out totally you know they need to all allocate a different kind of a model altogether and the third one is a workforce a workforce and demographic democrat uh, you know uh, demographic trends even the demography if you look into it the kind of an age group which comes in as a employee today it's totally different and uh, there are different kind of generation people are coming up and we may have to, we might have an you know different kind of an age group of employees how are we going to manage with all those people and ultimately economy is a major kind of a challenge today you know uh, the economy is a major bottleneck it will keep fluctuating and uh, 2007 8 i hope all of you are aware that uh, entire world economy has undergone a big kind of you know uh, what do you call it as a recession period uh, due to you know global uh, crisis the similar way actually 2010 11 only slowly all developing countries like india and other countries have been emerging as a best kind of an employment opportunity so ultimately you know economy can affect the uh, employment opportunities and ultimately you know the employment opportunities uh, during that particular economic recession time hr may have to you know take a lot of kind of an initiative in terms of pay cut in terms of uh, retrenchment in terms of you know probably uh, retaining a very uh, less or probably the uh, very low level kind of a budget of hr activities so these are the ways actually you know economic condition might shape or rechange the you know the way hr department functions and the next one is the trends in the nature of work itself if you look into it today the nature of work itself has changed and it's more of you know uh, automated and highly skilled kind of a labor activities so whereby the, the gone are the days you know we deal with completely unskilled or uh, you know semi skilled kind of a labors where the approach and the, the kind of an you know treatment has to be totally different and ultimately you know it's all about deregulations and there are a lot of indebtedness indebtednesses and leverages and ultimately you know deregulations help the hr department to come out with more and more innovations and ultimately it makes the organization function in a different kind of a way so if you look at it actually you know because of the globalizations many activities we are outsourcing it to some other you know third party so that's a way actually core competencies we concentrate on and many activities we uh, leave it to outsource or probably the, we might deal with the part time employees or you know facility management systems so these are the ways actually you know the completely the organization is undergoing a big kind of a changes in all the industries uh, across the horizontal era so these are the ways actually you know trends which is shaping the human resource management now let's try to look at it each one of this trend uh, one by one if you look at the trends which is shaping the human resource management the kind of trend which is happening in here in the industry is about first one is a globalization because of globalization you know more and more companies are coming up more competition is happening and when there is more competition every company has to you know concentrate more on how we they we get the big picture of it and come out of the best kind of you know way competitive advantage compared to other uh, kind of you know uh, competitor with respect to the strategic goal part of it the second one if you look at it uh, 
you know increase competition and deregulation and increase kind of an indebtedness make the you know probably company to think about faster and move responsible and move out you know effective kind of you know people human resource capital and uh, completely quality consciousness and uh, these are the ways actually you know they'll be uh, forced to think about it and a similar way if you look into it uh, technological kind of an innovation it's become uh, companies to you know must be quality conscious and ultimately you know they should be able to find the way to provide transactional uh, you know kind of a services which helps the organization gets the best kind of you know administrations and benefits and other things and all and uh, the men's are more knowledgeable you know today more knowledgeable work more service jobs and more high tech jobs are coming up and ultimately you know uh, even the economy may not be a very very uh, conducive kind of an economy where there is a dramatic economy and uh, you know downtown downtime and uh, you know kind of an crisis and other situations are very very common so ultimately you know during that particular phase organization has to downsize organization has to come out with an you know organized flutter and organized kind of you know around empowered kind of a team they need to build and ultimately you know the employee uh, employers therefore expect more hr department that they actually you know challenging the uh, challenging time how they are going to better manage the employees and how they need to retain the employees these are the major kind of a challenges so likewise if you look into it each trend each kind of you know uh, companies must be able to you know look at various kind of method as to how they can manage the entire thing so these are the ways actually you know trend which is shaping the human resource management and uh, trends in the nature of work if you look into it uh, the changes in the way we work also has changed completely so one is high, more and more high tech jobs are coming up and uh, more and more service oriented jobs are coming up and uh, knowledge workers and the human capital so that's a way if, if you look into it the way the kind of a human resource what we deal with is totally different from the past so ultimately you know we according to the motivation of this particular employees and their mindset we may have to you know align the hr policies also accordingly so and uh, let's look at the workforce and demographic uh, demographic trends if you look at the demographic trends if you look into it uh, india has got the best advantage in terms of demography uh, we are the most youngest country in the world so the average age is about more than 60% of the uh, work population is actually belong to the age group of 25 to you know 30 so we are, we have the maximum kind of angus crowd in the entire workforce in the country or probably in the world so that way if you look into it uh, there are different different kind of generations of people are there so we need to understand the people who are born after 80 that is generation y uh, you know people generation y people they don't like to you know work very hard they want to work very smart so we need to understand their uh, you know acumen and accordingly you know we need to motivate them we cannot expect the same kind of you know style or hard working uh, nature of let's say x or probably the baby boomer generation today the y generations you know we need to deal with them in a very very different way and uh, comes you know probably the millennium uh, you know generation is much much you know different and uh, we are dealing with the retirees also there are a lot of people who are after the retirement or a voluntary retirement from uh, public sector units also come back for the work as a consultant or a freelancer so we'll be dealing with such kind of you know uh, generation people also at the same time generation y as well as millennium or probably xy generations and the non traditional workers the people who are actually you know part time workers and people who are more high tech related people and the high service employees and you know more kind of educated uh, kind of you know employees so the way we deal with them has to be you know totally different so that will actually you know the, the we need to work out in hr in such a way that we need to accommodate all those kind of people and understand their uh, requirement also so these are the major kind of an important trends which is happening in hrm so the new kind of an hr managers has to be you know uh, looked into it the new kind of a paradigm which is uh, you know uh, unveiling unveil, unveiling and uh, high performance work system it's like we need to make sure that you know entire team works like a team you know complete with the spirit and come out of the best kind of a productivity and we need to make sure that one of the important challenges in today's uh, scenario is managing the ethics part of it and ultimately you know the hr certification there are different different levels of certifications we need to cross through all these things and we need to maintain the evidence based hrm 
and make sure that you know it's more forward oriented and for every kind of an activity we need to you know probably find out the evidence based and we need to you know probably bring about the solution for it and ultimately you know we need to make sure that our hr quality is something very very unique and which is more potential so that's the way actually you know we need to make it as a strategic kind of an hr